Welcome back to Every Way Woman. So it's time for a few life bites, if you will. And they say women who want it all are unhappy. Well, I know I want it all, but I don't know if it's possible, Madison. I don't think so. No. Can't have it all. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, how do you really feel, Madison? <laughs> We're all laying on the line. That's a little depressing. If I can't have it all, I don't know where okay, to go. Okay, before we get into define have it all. Help me with that. Help me with that. Have, have it have all. It. I mean, yeah, I think for most women, it's the career, it's the love, it's the family. I mean, there's a lot of things I know I want, but I've heard you say, you always have the wisest words, <laughs> you can have it all, you just can't have it all at the same time. Right. <laughs> I'm trying to live by that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, but I don't even know where to go from here. Well, okay, so have it all is relative, right? Because the, the topic is women are un unhappy. To have it all is relative. I'll use myself. I'm a woman first. I'm a mother second. I'm a, I'm sorry, I'm a wife? woman first. I'm a <laughs> wife second. Thank you. I'm a wife second. Then I'm a mother. Then I'm a career person and all those things. And so I can have it all. It's just not at the same time. Sometimes I have to be more of a wife than a mother then I have to focus on my career. But we put a lot of pressure oh, of on course. women to say, you gotta be doing X, Y, and Z, and by the time you're 30, you have to have five kids, and by the time you're so, 40, you have Madison, to be career. Why, yeah, why no. do you think it's so unrealistic? Well, okay, first of all, um, we do have biological clocks. So yes. you do have to do certain it's things within ticking. a certain time. <laughs> yes, I know your womb is shriveling right now as we speak. <laughs> I'm kidding, <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Yes, you have some time. <laughs> I'm breaking the sweat over here. Sweat. <laughs> Thank but, you, Madison. All right. But yeah, some things have to happen, right? So at some point, you might have to make a choice. Okay. Do you want a career or do you want to be a wife and, and have a family? Sometimes having a career can overwhelm or overshadow being a mother and being a wife. Or sometimes being a mother can overshadow the, the, um, the career because something has to you have to give energy at to that time of whatever mm -hmm. is important. Correct. Yeah. Okay. So what I do hear sometimes is I hear a lot of young women saying they want it all at a certain time frame, like by the time they're 45. Why can men have careers until their 60s and 70s? Why can't women change their point of view and say, you know what, maybe I can be a mother and a wife and I can do that earlier on in life and I can continue to educate myself, I continue to have life experience and then when the kids are ready to start sustaining themselves, then I can have a career. I can have a career in my well, 40s you know, and 50s I, and 60s. I think there's a lot of pressure put on women yes. to have it all. Beyond and we put it, the pressure that's on right. them. Yeah. Men don't put that pressure on we us. Put the we pressure put the on pressure them. on each other Absolutely. to do all that. Oh, I put the pressure on myself and my mother, of course. <laughs> but, you know, I think it's a matter of also learning how to set realistic goals for yourself and figuring out what you want and don't want. Okay, you did a dream board. Okay, tell so us about that. Tell I, us. I couldn't even figure out for myself what I wanted or didn't want. You know, beyond the basics. What does my life really look like? Right. So I took a friend's advice and I made a vision board for myself, a dream board, if mm -hmm. you will, because I heard, you know, if you list your goals or you visualize them, right. there's a better chance of them coming so to fruition. So everything on that dream board, you want to accomplish a course a, a, along the course of your life? No, I want it right now. We, we, we <laughs> shot, we it's shot months. one year, I'm knocking on 30, I'm, I'm working on it right now. But what was interesting is that in doing that, I noticed that there was a lot of things I intuitively wanted that I didn't realize or that described my life. And there was a lot of things I didn't want. And letting that go and being okay with it, I think is very important for a lot of women out there. It's okay if you don't want a career right, for yourself. Absolutely. It's okay yes, if you absolutely. don't want a family. And it's okay you to don't have to have it all. That's right. Dream. Yeah, and that, that's right, you can do that too. I think sometimes people get social pressure or they get pressure from their family that they have to have, to have kids or they have to have a career. They, you don't have, if you want to have a career, you want to be a CEO, you want to do it, you don't have to have children. You it's, don't. It, you can choose not to, and it doesn't make you a bad woman if you The only don't. thing you have to do is you have to love yourself, and whatever you choose to do, you have to work hard. Yeah. Other than that, the table, I mean, the, there's a blank canvas. Well, it, but you know, in that blank canvas can be very intimidating, Stacey. I mean, at what point did you realize in your own life what you could have and what you did want? At the point, well, first of all, I lived the half part of my life was a farce, per se. I mean, I just hadn't dealt with anything, so I did a lot of things to make others happy, right? Mm -hmm. So I, I speak to this, not really being genuine to myself, because if I if I go back and I look at that, I do a lot of things different. I would travel. I may not have gotten married, right? 
Woo, I so, hope her husband's <laughs> on the show. So, yeah, I love you. I no, love you. I'm they're here. They're here. You and love, I love them, them, right? them. But I'm just yeah. saying, I would have traveled before I got married. I would have finished my graduate degree. I, I just would have been more serene. But I had the pressure in 26, got to get married, got to do things. So that's why I'm telling you, the canvas is blank. Take advantage of it. Take mm -hmm. advantage of it, ladies. We'll be right back with more Everyday Woman. Stay tuned. <laughs> Ooh, Lord. I'm <laughs>